Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas and in this video we're gonna continue talking about Taiwan news for a bit. But this time we're gonna talk about one single specific news and that is that according to the travel agency Agoda.com which is owned by the Fortune 500 company Booking Holdings. Taiwan is the number one travel destination during the second half of 2020. And as if that was not enough, Taiwan is actually taking seven out of the top 10 cities when it comes to world traveling during the second half of this year. So then last year's top destinations such as Bangkok and Tokyo this year has to see themselves defeated by normally not so well known and international destinations such as Ilan and Taitong. And then the couple retreat number one these past couple of years which has been Bali, Indonesia needs to see itself defeated by Hualien, Taiwan. So in order to prove this claim and to give you some travel recommendations if you're a foreigner who for the first time are considering coming here and checking out the wonderful country of Taiwan, I decided to invite not only my favorite travel YouTube channel but also my favorite couple in all categories. Victor and Grace. Victor and Grace, welcome. Last time you were here, then Victor was almost half to Canada already. We did not know when or even if you were gonna come back here. And I think that Grace is at least half as happy as I am that you're back here. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to be back. I think I speak for all of us when I say welcome back and hope you guys stay here for a very long time. Oh. Definitely will this Yay. time. This time you're here specifically to talk about Agoda ranking Taiwan as number one most searched travel destination or travel location mm. for the second half of 2020. So according to Agoda, the top five countries, Taiwan, Thailand, Japan, Vietnam and South Korea. So okay. anything you, you agree with or, or disagree with? Where you say Taiwan and Thailand. Taiwan, Thailand, two different countries. I know. Yeah. Japan, Japan, Vietnam, South Korea. I would cross out Vietnam and put Philippines in there. Yeah. I don't have any people no. watching from Vietnam anyway. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sure I have more from the Philippines. No. no. <laughs> Go Philippines. But regardless if we prefer Philippines or Vietnam, I think we can all agree that since we're all here, we all love Taiwan. And I just wanted to check which one is your favorite city? I say Hualien to be honest. Because you have mountain like Tai Lu Ge, right? Yes. And then you have beach. There's so many secret places that I haven't really been to. According to Agoda and the people who have been using Agoda to search, Hualien is number one. Not, wow. <laughs> not and not not only is this number one city in Taiwan, it's the number one city Globally, Globally speaking, according wow. to agoda.com, Taiwan have seven out of the top Ooh. 10 cities in the entire world right now. To be fair, this is only the second half of 2020 and basically all the other countries are closed down for lockdown. <laughs> so it's not a fair competition, <laughs> I know, but we have to point this out that right mm. now, Taiwan is the place to be and these Taiwanese cities are totally crushing it in the global world ranking right now. One mm. thing that got my attention here is that Tainan is missing and so are all the Taiwanese islands. There's not a, right. there's not a single Pongu's Taiwanese good. island in here. We have, don't have Penghu, oh. we don't have Green Island, we don't have Lanu. So to see what is up with the Taiwanese islands nowadays, we have, like any other proper news show, a traveling reporter that is going to give us the latest updates from Lanyu. Yeah, thank you Lucas. So here in Lanyu, it's really amazing as you can see. The weather is awesome. I think uh, Lanyu is really a place I could recommend to everybody uh, visiting Taiwan. I passed by Ilan, Hualien, Taidong and today I reached Lanyu. And I can tell you that the east coast of Taiwan is just amazing. It's so many beautiful sceneries. You are always uh, seeing the beautiful ocean and the mountain next to it. So yeah, definitely the east coast of Taiwan is one of the best and the, one of the places I would recommend the most into this amazing country, which is Taiwan. Mm. This was Yuan Yuan live from Yuan Yu. Back to the studio. Thank you so much for that Yuan Yuan. And as we heard, Ilan, Hualien, 
Taidong and Lanu are all super amazing and definitely worth a visit if you decide to come here to Taiwan. But we sadly do not have time to talk about that in this video. So if you want to see more about that, you should definitely subscribe to me, Victor and Grace, and to Genuine as well and hopefully with time we will be able to introduce you to all the beautiful places here in Taiwan. But something that we are going to do in this video before we end here is that we are going to see if Victor and Grace can give us some expertise help and list their absolute favorite thing to do in these cities that are going to rank top 10 in the world right now. We're going to start at the bottom of the top 10 list which is Taichung. What is your number one tip to do in Taichung? Do they have so many independent like whole building selling hot pot or selling barbecue? It's so good for picture and of course the food. Remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember? Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, we went to like totally. so many ones. You, you won't get bored while you're waiting for food? Is, is that a problem in your normal like travel <laughs> life? <laughs> it's like it's like the number one thing, I don't get bored waiting for food. The popular one always busy and you need to line up for it. Mm. Moving up on the list, we have spot number eight, Nanto. You know, natural sceneries, mm. and if you want to, what do you call this? Like, go in isolation, not in isolation, but yeah. Quarantine, I mean, it's called quarantine. Nanto <laughs> <laughs> no. is a great place getaway. to record. Getaway, had a getaway. <laughs> yes, so if you want a natural getaway, Nanto is like the best place. Especially if you want peace and quiet away from the city. Mm. It's just like mountains, trees. That sounds like that's a solo thing, it's not a couple. Or say it took a couple things. It's a good retreat for couples. We have quality time together. Exactly. Because like sometimes you don't get reception, so going online <laughs> is like, like I was trying to play on my phone, but no yeah. reception, so <laughs> I had I had, had to hang out with friends. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. It can <laughs> it reconnects it rekindles your relationship without your phones. So if you want to fix your relationship, go to you that. Have to go to no that. internet, <laughs> no people there, you Focus on the relationship. Yeah, pretty much. Next up, uh, spot number six, Taidong. What do we have to say about Taidong? We didn't really spend time in Taidong, mm -hmm. but we went to Lanyu and Green Island instead. It is longer travel. Just Amazing. don't go on the windy days or windy Ooh, time wishing. season. Next up, number four on the list is my absolute personal favorite, Kenting. I, I can take this, guys. I know everything about Kenting by now. <laughs> we have both the beaches, hidden waterfalls, monkey forest, and the hidden caves. Have you guys been there? We in, the, no. in the in the national park. No. They have there. No. We it's, were only there for two days. Yeah. So, which is plenty of time to go twice. They even have this fire that comes up from the ground. Okay, book next trip. Okay. Right now. Agoda. 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 <laughs> Next up, number three, Taipei. If someone comes to, to Taipei for four hours, what is the one thing they should do between their flights, for example? Elephant Mountain. The classic. Classic. Classic Elephant Mountain. How about the, from a local's perspective? Is it too touristy? I'll go 101. That, that's like the most touristy. <laughs> <thing ever. laughs> yeah, right, but I'm I... just gonna like change my. Uh, change my yes, my but I'm Taiwanese and I still will recommend all my friends to go there. Because for me, I, I've told this story on my channel as well, like mm. before I moved to Taiwan, Taipei 101 was literally the only thing I knew. Oh. So I, I knew Taipei 101 before I knew Taipei, mm. before I knew Taiwan. So for me Taipei 101 is very very special, but when you are in Taipei 101, it's literally the only place in entire Taipei where you cannot see Taipei 101. <laughs> so I feel like every other place around that, it just gives you that specific like Taipei skyline, which mm -hmm. which would just like burn into your iris, and that will be like the memories that you bring back home. Oh. Alpha Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alpha Mountain. I'm sorry, Grace. Let the foreigners take this one. <laughs> Elephant Mountain. Okay. <laughs> Much better than going up Taipei 101 if you only can choose one. Number two on this list is Ilan. Couple retreat, or would you prefer a solo adventure? Couple. You need your Diada have to take picture for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we went to so many good places to take pictures. True. True. I was lining it up there. I, I thought you were just gonna say because of the hot spring retreats. I would say Beito for that though. Okay, oh. it's a little bit more convenient if you're in Taipei. Mm. And then number one on Agoda's global list of top destination mm. cities, second half of 2020. Hualien. 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 
What is there to do in Hualien? Taluko, amazing. Mm -hmm. Taroko Gorge. Yeah. Simply stunning. And then last question before we finish this video. Is there any first trip to Taiwan recommendation you want to give to, to any tourist, solo traveler and couples who are thinking about coming to Taiwan now because of, of the way we handled COVID-19 here? I think that definitely opens up the possibility to come here for, for a lot more people who now have seen Taiwan on the world map. I will say, bring two memory cards for your camera. And, and a photographer. <laughs> and a photographer. Yeah. I would say stay on the north side if you're only here for about two or three days. And mm. uh, stay in Taipei. You can easily go to Ilan. So many destinations in northern Taiwan. And be here on an empty stomach. So there we have it. Come here, empty stomach, mm -hmm. bring two memory cards, one photographer. <laughs> stay up in the north and explore that. And then travel down south if you have the time. That was everything for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like. Ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and I'll see you in the next one. And I should also mention that at the same time we're recording this video, we are also recording a video for their channel as well. So after you finish watching this one, please make sure to head down in the description. You will have a link there. Go and check out their video and subscribe to their channel as well if you haven't already.